Now, before anybody says anything, I know this happened about a month ago, but I feel like it is important to make this video as well. A month ago, I reacted to this thing that happened to Ninja, where he basically gave his opinions on, like, the current 2024 climate. And yeah, I reacted to this Jake Lucky video, and I was like, you know what? I want to go and make a video on this. So yeah, here's my reaction, like, one month late to the entire situation. It is what it is. Hope you guys enjoy. I want to see what Jake Lucky has to say, as well as Ninja, man. See. Ninja had a lot to say on a recent stream, even talking about his potential retirement in the future, whether it's For five real? years or one year, he does not know. But what people are here really talking about is a viral discussion of him talking about what the internet has become and this online culture around drama and trying to cancel people and so on and so forth. Here's yeah. Ninja's rant on the- Dude, that, that is so true, honestly. That is very true. Listen, I don't watch a lot of Ninja anymore because, uh, I don't play that much Fortnite, and I don't watch that much Fortnite anymore. Like, I don't know. I just play it to have fun, not to, like, get over-engrossed in the content. That's not what I do. I just play the game to have fun, all right? But with the internet, like, being very, very different, right? Like, yeah, it's very different. Look at, like, 2017 internet, right? Like, 2017 YouTube, right? It was not this bad. It, it has never been this bad, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. Something down, down, the, down the road changed. Around, like, 2020, something changed. And then everybody started canceling each other. Like, why? It's useless. You can't cancel someone who doesn't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all, it's all bullshit, man. It's all bullshit. Topic, what do you guys think? First sketch, next is Ninja. Your god, bro. No, no, it was Cody Ko, my guy. Leave me alone. I will say, though, bro, like, the internet lately, though, it is, um... Listen, I'm pretty damn confident that, uh, your boy's clean. Everyone is just... It's just... It just seems like people are just literally looking to cancel anyone and everyone at all times. Oh, yeah. 2024 is terrible for, for like, cancellations. I saw a tweet. I literally saw a tweet, like, a couple, uh... A couple days ago. It was by, uh... It was by a commentary... YouTuber. 2024 drama so far. Mama Max, I'm Alex, Bookie, Dr. Disrespect, George Not Fountain, Wilbur Soot, Tipster, Keffels, Vosh, this guy, never heard of him. Sniper Wolf, too mad. There's even more. There's uh, Cody Ko as well. I'm pretty sure Nick Merckx also got cancelled too. But I mean, Nick Merckx doesn't care, really. Look, Wilbur's trending right now as we speak. He's literally trending. <laughs> While we're doing this entire segment. That's insane. And we had this too. Sketch. Yeah, everybody's getting canned, bro. Everybody. It is insane. Bro, so many people got canceled already. It's been seven months of 2024. Can we not go a day without canceling someone? Like, listen, it's not healthy for you, bro. It's actually not healthy to, like, constantly go and attack people constantly. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's, a, it's like clown behavior, really. It's like going after a guy, like, 24-7. Even if they haven't done anything wrong. I could move my pinky finger a wrong way and get cancelled these days, man. It's crazy. Um, and it's just, I feel like the internet, like, literally, it's every day. Bro, dude, it, chat, it is, ev it, every day, it is something new. Yes. Every day, it is something, it is someone, someone's getting cancelled. Or trying to, for something. Social media and Twitch right now, and streaming, it is just so, it is so stupid. Oh yeah, you know what else is stupid? You know, you know how the, the, the courts work, right? In America, at least, okay? Listen, I'm not American, but I've, I've, I know how it works. Basically, everybody is assumed innocent until they are proven guilty. The court of public opinion doesn't actually function that same way. Everybody is guilty until they're proven innocent. What kind of bullshit is that, all right? Anyone from anywhere could go onto Twitter and say, Yo, Orisk is a terrible person. He did this, 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 and this. Did I do any of it? No. How can I prove it? I can't because I didn't do it. Like, what? Like, I can't prove the fact that I didn't do it because those DMs don't exist and nothing exists, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's so wild. It's just bewildering. It's like you look at everything going on and it's like people assume you're guilty first. Everybody assumes you're guilty. You know, we, we have to blindly believe these people who accuse people. Oh, you're so brave for coming out. Yeah, you are, but you might be lying too. 
no one thinks about that. And of course, if you don't blindly support the people canceling someone, then you're the asshole for not believing victims. I want to see actual proof. That's what I want to see. I want to see proof when it comes to situations like this. There needs to be concrete proof of these things happening. Dude, I'm so over it, bro. What you talking about? And they're just talking about uh, cancel culture and retirement. And we're watching a Jake Lucky video. Someone does something. Someone does something suspicious. Something that someone sus, bro. A million people have posted on the internet. Everyone's giving their opinions. That no one really asked for, by the way. But we're all doing. True. True. I I realized. I realized something a couple days ago. All right. And it's like, you know, I was I was being extremely negative on Twitter, especially, right? I I said everything out loud. You know what I'm saying? I said everything out loud on Twitter. No matter what, I just said everything. Had zero consideration for anything else just to get that take out. You know, I nuked my old Twitter. On my new Twitter, I don't even post anymore. I rarely even post. Like, Twitter clout doesn't mean anything. That's what I realized, you know what I mean? Seriously, everybody's just all about clout and drama, and that's it. Anyways, Didn't have any of that shit. W, W this, L that. I can't condone this. What the fuck is happening, bro? Remember when we used to just fucking play video games? And this one's very interesting. Obviously, I come from a different standpoint from a lot of you viewers. I, I you know, I digest a lot of this content in the internet. I mean, yeah, it's your job to, to, to report on this shit, Jake. World, I also cover a lot of it, all right? I'm not here to hide behind that. You guys know that from time to time, we cover drama. Like, that is what it is. But I've also been covering drama for like f at least five or six years now. And it's intertwined with like esports and streaming and gaming news. But you guys know what does best, right? It's it's people having these conversations. It's people being involved in beef with each other. And, and that's what has always gotten clicks and views. I, I do think that Ninja is talking about what I've noticed over the past year or so. I don't know about you guys. It just seems like everything online is either so polarizing or so uh like angry like true another thing i also saw another thing i also saw on uh on like other platforms right I, I believe some streamers actually do this like before giving a take they look at their chat and see what everyone else is thinking and then they just have the same take as their chat that's such like fake behavior man no matter what stance or the way you talk about something, people are just angry, is what I've noticed online. Remember when, like, like there weren't these fucking drama channels, like a million of them? By the way, like, this is streaming, dude. Like, this is, it's it's taking, o it's taking over. It's only getting worse. Where are all the funny clips, bro? Like, where are, you didn't Yeah, dude, seriously, where are all the funny clips? If you go to LSF and it's probably just some random guy talking about the latest controversy, which nobody asked for. Only reason I talk about these things is just to get another daily upload. That's that's the only reason why I do this shit. Oh, why do you talk about these topics? To get another video out. That's it. Like, I don't care. I don't actually care about what I what uh what what's going on on the internet here, like, oh this person's getting cancelled, that person. Only if it's very serious. If it's like a doctor disrespect situation, then obviously I care. But if it's not that, I don't I don't I don't actually care. We're all dude I miss the PUBG highlight days, bro. Where yes. Every morning, or every like every other week, every week there was a new PUBG highlight video, right? Of all the be of, all, of all the like, dude, just anyone, anyone in any PUBG dude, yes. streamer. It's crazy moments. Everyone laughing. Everyone tag. Those are the day. Those were the days, man. Unfortunately, highlight videos don't get views, which is why no one does it. 